Hi everybody, it's Belinda. I'm back with another project. As I said in my last video, I have been very busy in my studios, but it's it's hard to find time sometimes to get my projects um, recorded and uploaded on YouTube, so I'm trying to get some of that caught up this weekend. Uh, today is March 10th, so technically we're still in winter, and um, I felt like maybe I should hurry and get this video done before spring gets here because the theme of this mini album is winter. Um, so let's just go right into the book. This is a chipboard mini album and I'm going to grab my ruler real quick here. It is a large mini album. It's the largest one I've made. This is about 11 and a quarter by almost nine inches. So it's pretty big and the paper collection that I used was from Authentique and it was called um, Peaceful. So I used some of the um, 6x6 paper and some of the 12x12 paper. And I'll point out some of the other things that I included in this book. Um, the name of the book is When the Snow Flies. That's just a little piece that I cut out of um, one of the pieces of paper. This is a Tattered Angels Glimmer Chip. It's a sled. And what I did was I um, painted it with the, uh, let me grab it here, Distress Crackle Paint, and then I put some of the um, dry glit, dry stickles or the dry glitter over the top of that, and then I inked it. Um, I really love how that came out. This was in my stash, I'm sorry, I don't remember who made it, but it's a big, um, soft acrylic or plastic snowflake. The peaceful tag was cut from the paper collection. There are some um, pearl flourishes here. And there's a couple of snowflakes tucked in behind the flowers. These are Prima flowers. The pine cones that are tucked in here are from SCI. And the pine branches were uh, cut using a memory box die and I cut it out of about three or four different kinds of paper. Then I have a little tool trim and I kept the um, binding rings pretty simple. There's just a little bit of tinsel and um, some ivory colored bows on here. I really wanted this book to be very monochromatic so I didn't add a lot of color. There is a little bit of green in here. So let's go right into the first page. I think I'm going to have to slide this back and forth because it is a large format book. Okay, on the first page, um, this little set of skis is from SEI. There's a frame here. Um, these are also um, the Tattered Angels Glimmer Chips, two little ice skates, and I tied them together with a little stocking. Um, the little uh, saying here, sentiment came from the um, paper collection. And what I tried to do was, I did, um, throughout the book, there's one side of the two-sided layout that has big formatted uh, or big format um, photo mats in it, and then the other side is for smaller ones and tags. So here's the first one I wanted to leave a lot of room for photos here. And the same on the back. The same with this one, and once I put the photos on here, I'll probably do a little bit more embellishing, but I didn't want to limit myself initially. So I'll add some of the embellishing later. I still have a lot of the stickers from the paper collection left so I can use that. The Snowflake Punch here is from Martha Stewart, I believe, um, or it's an EK Success one, sorry about that. And then this frame um, is actually open on the side so you can insert a photo there. Okay. And on this side, um, another Prima Flower. This is an old one in my stash. It's just really pretty. I love that. This is a Tattered Angels uh, Glimmer Chip as well. It's the acrylic piece. These are uh, just a couple of frames. They're open on the side so you can stick a photo in there. Oh yeah, this sleigh is also one of the Glimmer Chips. And these um, snowflakes here were from the City Sidewalks Christmas Paper Collection by... Sorry, I can't remember the name. Let me Send me a message if you need... Um, more specifics about that. This little tiny envelope is a, you know when you buy, sometimes you buy a blouse or a sweater and you get a little envelope with the extra buttons in it. Well that's what this one was and I thought it was so cute so I just kept it and I just put a little tag in there. Um, a place to do a little bit of journaling. It just Sometimes I just think it's fun when the albums are very interactive. And this photo mat is, I'm sure you recognize it, some Prima packaging. 
and um, just room for a photo on the back. This one I've used some of the stickers from the paper collection backed on a little piece of vellum and just a punch and these are stickers from the paper collection as well. And they all tuck in this pocket that I made with a Heartfelt Creations die. Okay. Um, actually, and in here you'll see a couple little, kind of little swirly flourish things. They're from Memory Box, where the die is. Okay. This one oh, might be one of my favorite pages. Actually, I really like a lot of the pages in here. So this is the little Sizzix Birdhouse die. And um, I believe this is a Martha Stewart punch. And I used it in reverse. So I, I punched it and then I mitered the corners so I could um, have the design be on the inside rather than trimming on the outside. Um, and it trims a piece of vellum that created the pocket. Um, the birds are from, I think, a Christmas um, line last year. There's a lot of different pieces in this book. Okay, so this first tag is a little birdhouse and room for photos. You can journal with a white gel pen on the front of that one. And this one's also room for journaling and a photo. And then the large photo mat on this side. This has got the snowflake punch that I just did on both sides and then ran a piece of blingy tape down the middle and then room for some photos here. And like I said, I will do some further embellishing with stickers or journaling um, tabs when I get my pictures ready for this book. Okay, and on this side, I've got um, this is a, I think this is a Sizzix die. What it was was the um, die that you could cut and make paper chains to go on your Christmas tree. That's what this one is. So that I use that and there's a memory box die wreath right here. And just some little embellishments that, can't, that I cut out of the paper line. Um, and a Prima flower with some of that dry glitter on it. I love that, that beautiful um, Ranger or Tim Holtz glitter. And then this um, photo mat I used a mask and sprayed a snowflake design on it. And then on the back, there's room for more journaling. And this might be my favorite tag in the book. I'll pull that out. And I think you can see the glitter that I added to the Christmas tree. So basically what I did was I cut the Christmas tree twice and then layered it behind this um, chipboard one so that it's nice and sturdy. I did some, I embossed some snowflakes on here. I'm not sure exactly what I will put on here, but this is open here so I can slide a photo under the Christmas tree. And then on the back, there's just room, I will add journaling spots once the photos are mounted. And then there's lots of room on every page. There's lots of room for photos to be added to the base of the page. I didn't point that out earlier, and I should have. Okay. This book has five pages, and it was, I think, from Boxer. Um, Boxer is no longer in business, but I think I picked this up at a sale. Uh, really reasonable. The chipboard book itself was $2, and that included the rings. Okay, on this page, um, I did a punch trim. This is a piece of ribbon um, laying over the top. Some Prima Pearls. These are flowers from Michael's that I took apart and reassembled with a brad. And these are little Prima flowers. That's another one of those Tattered Angels um, glimmer chips. Okay, and this came from the sticker collection. And then there's room for a photo. Here's a larger photo mat and room for journaling and pictures on each side. And then here's the back one. I really loved this paper. This was a fun book to create. Like I said, there's room for more photos on the back and the pockets are very big. So once I get my pictures ready, there's lots of room um, to capture all the memories right in this book. It will contain a lot of photos.
picture will hold a lot of photos. Okay, this page might be one of my favorite. I really like it. It's kind of busy, but I really enjoyed putting this together. So the first thing I have here is a little banner that I made with um, just some scrap papers. I cut them into pendant shapes, and then I had this little um, dimensional sticker. It's kind of a puffy sticker, and I just trimmed the banners to fit along the back of that, and then I outlined the word winter there. Here's some stickers from the paper collection, both sides of this tag. Um, this is a K and Company. T um, no, maybe it was K and Company. It's um, Christmas line. And then inside that pocket is a frame, and it's open at the top on both sides with journaling on that. So these all just tuck into that pocket. And then here's a little tag here and room for a photo. Um, this is the Tim Holtz Snowflake die. I cut it. I'm going to move this up to the camera a little bit closer so you can see it. I cut it out of acrylic and then I brushed the edges of the snowflake with silver stays on. Um, that's what made that um, little color there. I really liked how that came out. Um, so then in this pocket, there's just a little tag, room to journal. Oh, I would turn it upside down, huh? And then this little snowflake is a Sizzix um, embossing folder. Um, really liked how he came out. I added glitter, a little stays on ink, a little flower, and he's got this cute little hat with a snowflake on it. And then on the back, I added a Christmas tree for journaling and room for photos there. You can add photos here. And this is all loose. So let me pull this tag back out. Like I said, there's lots of room for photos here and it can even tuck underneath the banner a little bit. Okay. Well, here's another one of my favorite pages. I really liked how this one came out too. Um, I made a little envelope, uh, trimmed it with some lace. And this is a felt Christmas ornament that I had. I picked up. Um, it might have been. It might have been the Dollar Tree. Can't remember. Um, here's a little tag. And again, this. Uh, let me tip it that way. Maybe it'll show. I used the mask and sprayed um, glimmer mist on the tag. And then there's just room for a photo there. This is a little tag holder, come on, and um, room, this this tag had been sprayed with glimmer mist. Now this is a tag off a piece of clothing, I do that often, I'll just kind of grab a, a nice sturdy little tag. So that's what this is, and I covered up the brand with that piece of paper from the collection, and then I covered the back with just some little scraps. So that can stick in the room for writing a little bit of journaling. Okay, and then this tag pulls out, and it's big. You can put a couple pictures in here. The mitten is not attached, so you can tuck pictures underneath. And I just added a lot of glitter and a little flower to the mitten. And that's felt. It's another one of those felt ornaments. Uh, so it's dimensional and cute and soft. And I didn't put anything on the back of this yet. I think I have a large picture that I'm going to put on here, but I've got to wait and make sure that it, um, I'm not going to need to modify this size at all, but I think it's going to work on the back. And then there's room for lots of pictures here and even down on the side, beside the envelope. And this is the last page. And this page, um, whoops, this kind of slipped out of its spot. This page is also a little bit busy, but I really liked it. Just, I just really enjoyed working on this project, and as it came together, I just, it, I had a lot of fun. It got me through the winter. <laughs> okay, so there's a little piece of burlap ribbon along the top here, and these are little um, felt stars that I got out of a little um, gift wrapping set, and I turned them over. There's little designs on the back, but I flipped them over, and I added a little bit of glitter in the letters that I cut out. Um, my little snowman is made with puffy paint, that applique paint that when you get it hot um, with your gun, it'll puff up. So see, he's got a lot of dimension, and then I put glitter on him too while he was wet. 
so it was really cute. This is a little leaf uh, punch or a pine bough punch and I added some more of that fake, that applique snow on there too, all glittery and sparkly. And then, um, oops, there's a little tag here. It says, baby, it's cold outside and room for journaling on the back. And then a little photo and it is open at the top right here so you can put a slide a photo right inside. And over here, I made a little pocket using pieces of the um, paper collection. I just cut some of the designs out. This is another tag that came off of some article of clothing. Uh, I just thought it was kind of fun, so I drew some lines on the back and covered the brand up in the front. This is a Spellbinder die. I made a journaling card out of it and just embossed it. Room for journaling on the back. And just a little tag with a little saying says, everyone is a kid in the snow. This pocket was a piece of um, parchment paper. I just crunched it all up. I just wanted it to look really textural, so I crunched it all up. And then this is a um, napkin ring. I think I got that at Crate and Barrel. And I just uh, unbuttoned it and left it long to kind of trim the pocket. And then behind it, I don't know if they show up very good, but they're a vellum snowflake border all along this top here. Again, I wanted it to be very monochromatic. I really liked how that how that softened the upper edge. And just one of my flowers with a lot of that glitter on it. In the pocket, we have two tags. This one's just for a photo and room for journaling on the back. Wouldn't you know, just before I talk about the last tag of my book, my batteries died on my camera. Um, so let's just get back in. This was the last photo mat I was going to show you. And I created this just weaving uh, half inch pieces of scraps from this paper collection. Um, this will be a photo mat and I will um, put some kind of a journaling spot on the back. I just want to wait until I get the picture ready and I think that will help me figure out what I want to do on the back of this tag. So that's um, the last tag in the book and then the back cover I just used some die cuts um, Tim Holtz and this is a Sizzix die and then uh, I think that was a Quick Cuts Snowflake. So I'm really thrilled that I got the video for this done while it was still technically winter since that was the theme of the book. I love this book. It's one of my favorites. I just like the softness of it and the um, it just felt peaceful like the tag says. It felt peaceful as I was putting it together. I still have a couple of Christmas albums that I didn't record yet and a couple of Halloween books, but I think I'm going to wait on those. I'm just itching to dig into some nice, beautiful spring colors and um, have a couple of projects to put together for some friends, and I believe you'll see those soon. So thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Please leave a comment. I always appreciate that when you do. It means the world to me. And... Um, Thanks again.